ITOR is the European Association for the Teaching of Academic Writing and the organisation has been in existence. This is our seventh conference, they're held every two years. So the first one was in 2001, that's 12 years, although actually the organisation was founded in 1999 by a small group of uh, writing teachers, but the first conference didn't happen until 2001. This is not actually the first time that we've hosted the ETOR conference at CEU. We also hosted it 10 years ago in 2003, and we were very happy to be able to host it again. About 20 years ago, many of us found that uh, traditional writing support which was given in small universities was not available any longer. So uh, student numbers had increased considerably and students had to do a lot of writing and no one cared about it. So it was actually kind of a pedagogical blind spot of teaching. And uh, several people noticed this and started to provide support and uh, we happened to meet each other starting conferences to discuss this. We noticed that it's the same need in every European country, so a European uh, society was uh, a logical thing. Teaching academic writing is a very important subject in Europe. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, in Europe there, are, there is a growing number of institutions where academic writing is important. Uh, because there is a growing number of universities. And also, I think uh, uh, more and more people want to have higher degrees. And so for, for successful uh, studies, they, they definitely need to learn how to, how to write better. We decided to focus this time exactly on the issue of the conflicts, tensions, potentials that are involved in the interaction between first language teaching of writing, second language teaching of writing, the hegemony of, uh, of English, its dominance in the academic world and how other writing cultures and languages have to respond to that. Multilinguality will be part of academic writing for everybody all the time. So that's true already in a lot of places in Europe, it's not so true in the United States and I think people are starting to catch up and realize that, that, that it's going to change for them. English is the dominant language currently and so it's important to be able to write in English but also um, I think it's important to be able to, uh, for students and teachers and researchers to be able to write in uh, languages other than English. Having only single language community uh, and international community of knowledge uh, is helpful, but at the same time it leads to the stagnation of ideas because everybody is trying to contribute to a single conversation. And I think it's important to have multiple communities uh, and using multiple languages helps in creating these separate communities where ideas are developed and uh, questions are raised in different ways so that eventually the interactions among different communities of knowledge will enhance, mutually uh, enhance uh, the ability to create new solutions to uh, some of the old problems as well as new problems. Many of the European networks are well, ITER offers uh, the, the support of a large expert community of people who, who do research on writing, who are experienced writers, uh, and uh, we have uh, these uh, biannual conferences on which you can meet all kinds of experts. So we learn from each other. So it's the, a good way to develop and a good way to professionalize academic writing if you happen to teach it. The conference has been very useful to me, first of all, to get new contacts, to get to know other people. It was really interesting to see how other things cope well with others and which didn't cope well with me. And so I could learn from their experience what I could do better. I think it really offers um, the benefit of having sort of scholars and teachers of academic writing from around Europe who can exchange their views and support one another as well as a sort of a community of people from other places around the world um, to whom we can bounce ideas off of. The most important benefit I think is uh, exchanging ideas with others, learning about how things are done in a different context. Uh, sometimes finding out surprising ways to do things that you thought there was only one way to do them.
more and more people who are teaching academic writing will participate in the kinds of things like, like ETA that allow them to actually develop their thinking in terms of research. There has been for decades a lot of practice, but not always a lot of research everywhere. The United States, Europe, Asia, everywhere, right? A lot of people have done practice, but haven't necessarily done research. And I think one of the changes for the future for all of us is that you won't be able to teach academic writing if you haven't really thought about the evidence that supports what you do uh, and how that evidence can can help shape how you're thinking about your teaching. I think ETOR is a very valuable forum that uh, gives an opportunity for teachers from all over Europe and beyond to come together every couple of years to exchange ideas, to learn what other people are doing, to be able to talk about things in a European context uh, with people who understand that European context, to understand the differences uh, and the, the similarities that we share, uh, to learn as well from those outside Europe, from Americans, from uh, people from uh, other countries. Of the work that I've done in France. Because there will be more people even later than you. This conference is a good example of taking on uh, the responsibility of the conversation about L1 writing instruction, which is an important one, and, and ITO is one of the few associations that, that can do that. It is important to be part of ITO, it's important to put in those hours and help push the, the association ahead. There is also a large number of channels or fora into other writing associations and organizations and being involved in the board is part of making that possible. Mm -hmm.